بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear students this is uh, our lecture number 8 and this is 28 april and uh, today we are going to start chapter number 3 uh, methods of uh, analysis and i will be doing few examples and the practice problems and uh, the examples i will be explaining from directly from the book and the practice problems i will just show you uh, from my own uh, uh, solutions so this is going to be a very very important important lecture uh, i will just uh, now show you uh, the main uh, this i have just changed my 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 recording software to zoom so that uh, whenever i just conduct a query session with you online query session so i am well versed with these uh, these new controls all right so which one i just want to share this is the screen okay i want to share with you so this is uh, uh chapter number 3 methods of analysis and in this method of analysis the writer has said that this should be considered the most important chapter of this uh, book he has written it here somewhere uh i just read it so in this lecture we will be just learning two important techniques one technique is called nodal analysis and the other technique is called mesh analysis uh, mesh analysis so right now we are just doing nodal analysis and before we just uh, uh, dive into these uh, this uh, no details in these details of nodal analysis how do we perform it i just want to say that this is a very practical thing and you, you need to do the practice always as always and this is a kind of chapter we are this is the kind of the topic this is the kind of course that you just cannot uh, go any further without uh, actually solving the numerical issue yourself it's just not uh, a good thing that too much input and no output is not a good thing so you must have some output also and uh, for you the output is the numerical solutions by your own hand i will just explain this through the steps but i will just urge upon you that you solve these problems your Uh, on your own and whenever you just uh, find uh, find yourself stuck at some point then you can just refer the video for explanation you can just just see the video directly but uh, once you start solving the numericals you have to just uh, do it uh, your own you on your on your own all right so i am just giving the solutions here so the uh, node analysis what we do here in node analysis well, first i just tell you that uh, uh what is analysis analysis is uh, finding uh analysis also means uh, solving the circuits so with reference to the circuit analysis is for example this is a circuit and these are the power supplies connected with this supply uh, this uh, circuit and uh, uh, uh to be more specific these are the current supplies uh, it can be anything a voltage supply or a current supply or a dependent one or an independent one so there can be any power supply here so due to these power supplies there will be some current through these elements the resistances uh in this uh, course we are just considering the resistances and uh, we are not uh, taking any any other component although in the later section later lectures i will be just doing electron and capacitor also but the major chunk of the circuit this uh, course is going to be uh dealing with the circuits involving the power supplies and the resistances so due to these power supplies uh, according to their arrangement uh, there will be some voltages across these resistances and there will be current through these uh, resistances so we have to find out uh, the process of finding out uh, these currents the voltages uh, across and through the different elements uh, is is called analysis so finding out the currents and the voltages through in some circuit is called analysis and uh, versus this analysis there is a word that is called the opposite of analysis is designing so if you have a circuit but you just don't have the values of these resistances and you want ha you have some parameters that you want to pass uh, this much current through this resistor and you should have this much voltage across this resistor so this uh, process of uh, setting up the currents and the voltages across uh, or through some elements of the circuit is called designing i hope that you have understood this uh, point uh, very clearly what is the 
uh, designing and what is analysis and this is finding out the currents through the resistance uh, through the elements that means the values of these resistances will be known the magnitude of these power supplies will also be known and the only thing you have to find out the currents and the voltages across the different elements of the circuit but in designing you don't have the values of these uh, resistances you don't have the magnitudes of these power supplies and the only thing that you have is that you know uh, that uh, this much current should pass through this re this resistor or this resistor or this resistor and uh, this much voltage should be across uh, these uh, uh, these resistances so this setting up uh, uh, of currents and the voltage is according to uh, according to your own requirement is called designing so uh, very obviously you can just think uh, consider I means you can understand uh, you can guess that uh, uh, designing involves a lot of analysis that's the basically that is the main reason that why we use uh, why we just learn analysis first because analysis is the first step if you just can uh, analyze the circuit, then uh, in the later stages, when you have more uh, understanding and uh, more knowledge and more practice, you can also set up, uh, you can also design the circuits. So right now, our main focus is uh, to understand what is, uh, how do we analyze circuits? And there are two main techniques, as I already have told you. Uh, this chapter is all about these two techniques, that the node analysis and the mass analysis. So this is an introduction I will just like you, I will just urge upon you to, to go through this uh, detail uh, and read it. This is kind of your reading assignment and uh, I will just directly go to the, the practice. So first of all, the, before, before we just start solving the problem using node analysis, I will just tell you that uh, what we have to do is we have to just look at the nodes. There will be n nodes in uh, a circuit. So I again just say what is node? Node is something where the two elements uh, are connected. Two or more elements are connected. So let's just give you an example more nodes. So in this circuit, there are how many nodes? This is one terminal here. All this, these three terminals, the, the current source and the resistances, two resistances are being connected here at this point. So this is one node here. These two resistances and one this current supply is being connected at the point two, the, which has been named as point two node 2 so this is uh, also a node and this one node is also a node where these uh, three or four four elements are connecting so this is a node so this is called node we i already have explained last time what is nodes what is branches what is the loop so there will be n nodes so what we will be doing is that uh, we will be uh, selecting a node out of these these uh, nodes, we will be selecting one node as a reference node, and we will just not call it. Uh, we don't. We will not just give it a name. Here, for example, I have given it a name. The book, the writer has given it a name, and uh, one. So, in the next diagram, you can see that this one has been just replaced with the V1. So, we will be assigning a voltage V1. Although we, right now we don't know the magnitude, the magnitude of this V1. And that for node 2, we will assign a voltage of V2. And we don't know the voltage of V2. And that is exactly the purpose of finding out the values of this V2. So if we just know V2, we can other elements, uh, the currents can also be found out e easily. So the main, the main parameter here is uh, we will just find out the node voltages. So this is all about the node analysis. So what we have to do is we have to select a reference node. And then we have to just give the, the remaining nodes uh, their names, their the voltage levels, and their how many. If there are n nodes total, and one the, the node is uh, already selected as a reference node, that means that uh, there you will be left with one n minus one nodes. So there are three nodes all in all in the circuit. Then two nodes have been given the voltages V1 and V2. One node is already selected as a reference node. So all the voltages which are being uh, all the nodes which are assigned their voltage levels are with the are with reference to the reference uh, node so v1 for a volt node for no node one uh, that means v1 is the voltage across uh, or no not across uh, uh, voltage is the no v1 is the voltage of that node so v2 is the voltage of node two then what is the voltage of reference node because we haven't given any 
we haven't given it any name so the reference node will be considered as zero voltage so normally what we were doing is uh, we will just uh, most of the time con considering the bottom most uh, uh, connection as a reference node but uh, uh, sometimes it might prove very helpful that uh, the, the maximum number of uh, elements which uh, connecting at some node will be cons considered as a reference node All right so these are the things and the steps uh, uh, which are not very easy to explain without uh, just uh, uh, taking you to the practice problems. But for the just of the just for the sake of completeness, I will uh, be explaining the no the steps. Then what we'll be doing is we will be applying KCL because we already know the voltages. So KCL we need uh, the currents so we can find out the currents through through Ohm's law. And then we will have uh, uh, the equations simultaneous equa equations that we will be solving through calculator. So just I tell you, take you to, to the, the the example problem so where I will be just explaining how to do it. So this is the circuit. Have a look on it. And uh, this has already been marked as a reference node where the drawn symbol has already been already been drawn has been drawn here. So the rest, uh, uh, how many nodes are there? All in all, there are three nodes. One two and three but this is a reference node that's why we will just not give it a name this is node one non-reference node one and this is non-reference node two this whole thing is one node you please be uh, clear yourself on this topic this whole thing is uh, all these elements are connected at the same point and these are con the, the, sh the lines uh, represent a wire in the circuit so this is a wire so this is again one node all these uh, four ohm resistance and two ohm resistance and five uh, ampere uh, uh, current source is being connected on the node one. So what we have done is, according to the point uh, step number one, we will assign the voltages V1 and V2 to these nodes. So I will again just uh, give you a word of advice uh, that uh, you just uh, bear with me if you are not understanding the things. Even even then, just keep watching. And if you just find it uh, means necessary, then you can just reverse the video and then just listen it carefully that what is being said. And then when you are just uh, through this one example, you will be able to uh, uh, to solve the practice problem. All right. So this is the voltage one, V1 and V2. So next, what we will be doing is that we have to apply KCL here on node one and we also have to apply KCL on node two. What does the KCL state? Statement for KCL is that the sum of the currents coming towards the node or going away from the node is equal to zero. So we have to apply KCL on this node. And for the KCL, we need currents. So for currents, we will be giving the arbitrary directions to the to the currents. So uh, we will be giving the directions to, to from our own. That's why this is called arbitrary directions. But the, for the current sources, the directions are already mentioned. So there we don't need, we don't need to assign a direction. This is already there. That means this five pair is definitely or uh, obviously passing uh, going towards uh, this node. Uh, towards the towards it is going towards the left, and towards the left is the node. So that's why we it will be considered that this current is going towards the node. All the currents that are going to, towards the node will be taken as positive, and all the currents that are going away from the nodes will be taken as negative. And this is a rule. All right. So uh, this uh, is uh, has been named as I1, and I1 is 5 ampere because we already know that this is the current through this wire here. So 5 ampere I1, and this is the current going away from the node. This is the arbitrary direction away from the node, and this R3 is again an arbitrary direction. But normally, we a node is connected. We all always consider it as a, this one that is towards the, the reference node. Reference the current is going towards the reference node. So this is downwards, and this is again arbitrary. There is no difference that if you just take a, you can also take the opposite direction. Uh, it will give you the same results. So what are, what is our main task? The main task is to find out the voltages V1 and V2. For this, we will be applying KCL on node one, and we will be applying KCL on node two. So just uh, going through, going further. So this uh, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Uh, where this has come from. You see, applying a KCL on this node, this I1 is going towards the node. That's why this I1 is equal to the all the no, all the 
currents which are going away from the node. So that's why this is equal to I2 plus I3. This is the statement of a, uh, a KCL, a catch of a current law. All right. Now what we do is, uh, what we have to do is that we have to write these currents in terms of uh, the volt node voltages. So you see, I1 is already given, that is, this is 5 ampere, but I2, I2 is uh, passing through this point, uh, uh, this 4 ohm resistance. So for, for applying Ohm's law, what we have to do is we have to find out the voltage across this resistor. So what is the voltage across this resistor? The voltage across uh, uh, at the uh, left of this resistor is V1 and the voltage at the right of this, this case of Coulomb resistance is V2. That means the voltage across this uh, resistor is going to be V minus V2. V minus V2. This is the voltage. And now what is the value of this four ohms? Voltage upon the resistance value. V upon R. That, that is Ohm's law. That's why we will just write four in the denominator to just convert this. Uh, this thing to uh, current. Right? This is a current voltage divided by resistance is a current. On the node two, I will be able to on node two. Uh, oh yes, this is I three. Node one. On oh, no, we are just on node one right now. So I two has already been just converted to voltages. I three needs to be converted. So this is a current, and this reference node is a zero. That's why we will just take V one minus zero. Here, as it is, here it is. V1 minus zero divided by the value of the resistance. So uh, this is the equation. We will just uh, bring this equation to its standard form by just taking the LCM and uh, simplifying it. So we will be just getting this thing. In the next, uh, on the in the next step, what we'll be doing is we will be applying KCL on node two. So node two, how many currents are going or coming from towards the node or going away from the node? There are around five branches, four ohm resistance, six ohm resistance, a current source of 10 ampere, and a current source of five ampere. There are five branches being connected in this, on this node. That means there should be five currents. And what are those five currents? This I2, where is I2? I2, I2 is coming through this four ohm resistance and it is coming towards the node. That's why this will be taken as positive. What other current is going towards the node? This is coming towards the node that is, has been named as I4 and we know that I4 is going to be 10 ampere. Uh, these two currents I1 and I5 are going away from the node. That's why we will just take on the other side of the equation or if you just want to take the, on the same side of the equation that we will be just using minus sign. Right, so writing this I2 in terms of the voltages is this one v1 minus v2 and this is positive here in the last step it was taken as uh, i2 uh, on the on the right so if you just take it here so it will be taken as minus but because they have just used this uh, strategy of writing the one currents uh, on the, and the currents coming towards the node on the right of the equation and coming currents going away from the nodes on the left of the equation that's why they haven't used the minus sign but the sign has definitely changed. The side has definitely changed because the current is going away from the node. In this thing, I2 is coming towards the node on, on node 2. So that's why this is written V1 minus V2 upon 4. Next is the 10 ampere, which is coming up towards the node. So that's why this is a 10 state for 10. We are just writing right now the adding, we are just adding the currents. That's why this current will be taken as, as this. This is also current. This is also current. Voltage divided by the voltage resistance is current, and this is a current source current. And, uh, what are the currents? This uh, this I1, this I1 is going here. This is I1 going away from the node, and this magnitude is five. So this is, we have written as five here. Yeah. And this is always the current which is going away from the node, and this is six ohms. So that's why we have this side V2 divided by zero divided by six ohms. So simplifying it, we will just come up with this thing. And these are the two equations. One equation and the second equation. There are two variables in the two equation that can easily be solved. So uh, there are a number of methods for solving the equation. We have just uh, given us Kramer's rule or simultaneous equation, elimination man technique. But uh, I will just allow you to use the calculated, calculated directly equation solver. And that's, that's how you will just come out with the answer that the V1 came out to be. Oh, uh, what is V1? Oh, yes, V1 is 13.33 uh, and V2 came out, the answer is 20 volts 
and then this way we can just find out the i1, i2, i3, i4, and i5. Every, every other parameter can also be found out using the voltages. So I hope this was uh, good enough for, for you. Uh, next uh, is uh, practice problem 3.1. So uh, let me see what I have just included in this uh, lecture number 10. Uh, I will not be doing this example 3.2. I will be doing lecture example 3.2. Uh, okay. okay. I will just I will just share you the screen just to show that what I have just seen. Uh, yes, this uh, screen. You see, I initially I just wanted uh, to do all these things, but uh, time will not allow me to complete this thing. So I was just doing the practice problem here. Uh, example is already done, then I'm, I'm just going to show you the practice problem. So, this software is a bit new for me, so I'm not very used to it, this kind of thing. So, again, sharing the sharing the, the, the PDF file. So, this is practice problem, and the answers are given, and these are, uh, this is the question. So, I have solved you, solved this question for you. Uh, Okay, wait, 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 wait. I just open up the screen. Um, so, where is that the solution? Yes, uh, this solution is uh, here. Um, here for, uh, yes, uh, this practice problem. That is 10. Oh no, what is it? Where is it going? Yes, this works from 3.1. I will just do uh, explain the 3.1 here. So let me share this uh, screen for you. Um, where is that screen? Yes, this this is screen share. This is screen share now. I hope if this does not go well, then uh, you know I will be in a big problem um, because I have already recorded a lot, a uh, very big lecture in it, and if this this does not go well. So I will just revert back to the, my original software of Bandicam and that I just found very helpful. But I just wanted to, to be well uh, aware of this environment of Zoom. So I just tried to record it in. Uh, I pray Allah to pray to God, pray to Allah that this goes well. Okay, this is the practice problem 3.1. So what we will be doing is uh, we will just assign the currents. This, this is the direction of the currents. But I will just not be giving them the names. This has been selected as the reference node. So step and select a node as a reference node. So this is selected as a reference node and that has been shown by a drawing a ground symbol. Assign voltages V1 and V2. So this is going to be V1 and this is going to be V2. Apply KCL. Okay, apply KCL. So how many currents are coming? This 3 ampere is going towards the node. So I will just write 3. This uh, current is going down away from the node that's why this is written as minus here and v1 divided by 2 the value of v1 divided by 2 all right so um, this, uh, and one more current is going from this uh, resistance of 6 ohms so it will be taken as v1 minus v2 divided by 6 and uh, exactly i have written this this v1 minus v2 upon 6 and I have taken this minus sign. You see, this is minus sign. Why I have just taken it as minus sign? Because this is again going away from the node. So simplifying this uh, equation into a standard form, uh, this uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, equation number one. And here I have just simplified it to minus 4v1 plus v2 is equal to 8. And this uh, is uh, KCL up on the node 2. So you can just convince yourself that you understand this, uh, how we applied KCL on node 2. So I will just explain a little bit uh, what are the currents. That this is 12 ampere going towards the node. That's why it will be written as going, going this uh, plus. Actually plus. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, sorry, it's my mistake. Uh, I have drawn it upwards. Otherwise, in the in the book, this is shown as negative. So I just should share for the the book for you. Uh, you see, you see, you see. This is bottom. This is going bottom. 
So what I have just uh, drawn is the wrong direction. This is going away from the node. That's why this will be taken as negative. So I will have to again share the same screen. Okay, this is very tedious here in Zoom. I just find it a uh, bending cam much easier. That is a screen recording software. There you don't have to just uh, um, do so much for sharing a screen. You just uh, go to that screen from the uh, select and using it and on, bring it on the screen and it will start. It, it will be on recording. But everything is a, it's, it's advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so this is going downwards. I just showed you there. So this is taken as minus and this V2, this, the current through this resistance of how much current? Hold, hold, hold. Oh, is this the value of this resistance? The 7 ohms. So V2 divided by 7. Okay. So this is V2 divided by 7. This is V2 divided by 7 and this is minus because this again going on from the node. I'm just keeping the zoom level to this much high so that uh, those who are watching this video on mobile phone are at a uh, feel at ease. So this is the current towards the node and we will always be taking the, the current by just uh, subtracting the tail voltage multiplied by the head voltage minus the head voltage. The tail voltage is the V1 on the this tail of this arrow V1 minus V2 and it is coming from towards the node that's why that's why it will be taken as positive. You just should see here V1 minus V2 divided by the value of the resistance that is 6. So simplifying this thing uh, we will get this to this equation, this equation and then uh, this uh, has been solved using calculator and we can also get minus 6 and minus 42. So minus 6 and minus 42 are the, 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 the other answers. So I hope this was uh, good enough for you and uh, uh, you just learned something from it. Uh, I just stopped this uh, recording now. Um, all the best for you.